so dear students the exams are here finally in less than 4 days you would be appearing for your neat pg examination and i just wanted to record a short video talking about some important practical aspects that is usually beneficial the points that are usually beneficial for the exam going students so in the last days uh, the most important thing is to ensure that your anxiety levels are uh, well controlled we do not want the anxiety to shoot up because that will you know just overwhelm you and would have a significantly negative impact on your final results so we have to do everything possible to keep ourselves calm and there are multiple ways of doing it the first is to limit the amount of information that you are receiving from different sources uh i i was just looking at the youtube and i saw multiple you know last moment tips that do this and this will improve your rank by so much uh this hack this uh tip so you know there are there are no such hacks there is no such thing uh don't unnecessarily try to do anything new just focus on the proven things and uh, ensure that you are not doing anything new we have we have to be calm no matter what we have to be calm if you are able to keep yourself calm during those 3 and a half hours uh, it would ensure that you do not commit many silly mistakes and if you don't do that of course your score goes up it, it you know uh, a difference of even 10 percentage of marks may happen depending upon your anxiety levels so we have to do everything possible to keep the anxiety levels down so uh, try to limit the information don't try to see too many things don't try to do, to see too many videos and uh, motivational videos are a strict no nothing that pumps you up you know uh, uh, as the exam comes as, as the exam approaches you will start seeing messages like you know ja ke fod ke aana and do it tumhara din hai so you know i don't know why people say all those things because uh, you are not you, you should not be pumped up when you are going to the examination it's it's not like you are playing a football match and you have to be pumped up uh, it's actually the other way around you have to be as relaxed as possible so don't don't watch any motivational videos in the next 3 4 days there is no need to pump yourself up uh, try to keep yourself as calm as possible uh, if you find that you are not able to stop the thoughts the thoughts keep on coming in the mind ki kya hoga what will happen how will i manage if you keep on getting these thoughts just 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 uh, say loudly stop try saying stop and you know give give your brain a signal that the the thoughts have to the chain of thoughts needs to be broken right or or do something like this you know just just make a little sound or just just flick your wrist do something to stop those chain of thoughts and uh, ensure that you are not getting trapped into the chain of thought because before you realize you 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 know you start feeling very overwhelmed very anxious so we don't have to uh, we, we have to stop ourselves from getting into that that uh, whole trap try not to think about the result again if if a thought starts coming about the result kya hoga agar rank nahi aayi aage kya hoga agar selection nahi hua what will happen if i don't get this rank again you have to stop yourself from doing from thinking about those things they they don't serve any purpose they just they just you know make you more anxious use music as much as possible you know old songs or anything that that calms you down anything relax that, that relaxes you music is good music is a good way of taking breaks also you're studying getting bored getting tired just listen to two three songs and then you're good to go i i would uh, strongly advise you that keep studying there were many uncertainties this year uh, i'm sure almost every student wasted some amount of time it was you know obvious the, nobody is immune from all these new, uh, these you know news uh, uncertainties and the news uh, which were there around the postponement of the examination so i'm sure nobody was left untouched uh, so it is important to continue studying till the last day but continuing studying is is different from you know freaking out you don't have to try to do too many things uh, just just focus on whatever you have already read focus on whatever notes that you have made or focus on the previous year questions they are the most important things before the examination last two three year questions don't take any new grand test don't take any new you know complete test no no new mock test uh, don't try to read something new don't try to you know attempt new questions nothing new uh, anything that can you know make you anxious anything that can freak you out say say you appear for a mock test just to you know uh, have a feel of how to complete the questions in three and a half hours and just by chance but, but just you know randomly you did not score as well and and you end up freak uh, freaked out that you know i am not getting marks in this test how would i ever perform in the examination so we have to we have to avoid all those circumstances we have to ensure that we are going into the exam center with a good you know relaxed frame of mind so don't do anything new sleep is important and sleep is difficult 
before the you know exam day the night before the exam there are three four days left try to regularize your sleep as much as possible if i'm not wrong the duration the the uh, the timings are between 9 to 12 uh, 12 30 so the exams are in the morning and uh, there are many students who are who get used to you know sleeping late and getting up late so you have three four days if you can try to regularize it uh, say you are sleeping at two o'clock and you want to take it to 12 you know shifting it by two hours in one go doesn't really doesn't usually work try to shift it by half an hour or so and uh, let's talk about the night before the examination it, it is not easy to sleep the anxiety is high and uh, uh, sleep at times eludes steep steep sleep is not so easy to come if you have been taking any medicines if you have been taking zolpidem or melatonin anything of that sort uh, then it's okay you can take it the last night also but if you have never taken those medicines uh, do not do not try taking them for the first time before the last night you you never know usually the half life of zolpidem is quite less but you know some people do feel sedated with zolpidem so don't try anything new before the uh, uh, exam day uh, you all are doctors <coughs> i'm sure you know that you you don't have to you should not try new medication a day before you know uh, the night before the big day uh, eat something if you are not able to eat at least have some juice you know you know that glucose is extremely important your your brain uh, needs a lot of atp to work properly you should not be in a state of hypoglycemia please don't do that you know eat something have a good breakfast uh, if not take at least juice before entering into the examination hall also take some juice you, you should be you know well replenished the the uh, glucose levels should be good do all these things small things but they you know uh, sometimes make a big difference uh, reach the examination center at time again you know if you are getting late and if you are anxious that you know would i be able to reach at time or not what if the exam st starts even if you reach at time all that anxiety all those few minutes where you are troubled you know you, you carry with that you, you enter the examination with that emotional state we don't want that we don't want you to be anxious while you are entering the examination hall even during the paper if you are not able to answer two three questions if you don't know the answer for two three questions try to relax yourself as much as possible in du during the examination also keep on telling yourself it's okay relax relax it's okay relax you know when, when we when we try to calm ourselves down it, it really works uh, wonders it really helps you keep on telling yourself to relax you know deep breathing if, if, if something goes wrong and in the end the most important thing it is a stupid exam it is a silly exam right uh, we we start thinking that this is the most important day of my life my life depends on this particular day my life depends on the result of this examination but dear students trust me there is no single exam that can determine your whole life this is simply not true try give your best in a calm way i hope you get selected but god forbid even if you do not get selected this is not the end of the world no single exam can determine your destiny please remember that so if it does not go well it's okay if it goes well great if it doesn't go well there are other options you can appear next year you can appear for some other examination you can do other thing i mean there are thousands of options please don't get fixated on one exam it's not as important as you think it is My best wishes i'm sure you guys will do well i hope you get selected i hope you get a good rank and i'll be waiting for your messages on the exam uh, on the day when the results are declared we'll we'll celebrate it together all the best take care